Hi, my name is Jennifer, and my mission is to help you to learn belly dance as quickly and easily as possible. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a standing abs belly dance routine, where I'm gonna take you through different belly dance movements and different belly dance drill isolations that we do that are gonna activate your entire core. So no boring crunches, no painful dreaded planks. We are gonna put on some awesome belly dance music and we're going to work our obliques. We're gonna work our deeper transverse core. And if you do this on a regular basis, if you do this even a few times a week, you are gonna notice I believe, I'm confident that you're gonna notice a huge difference in your core strength. I used to be a personal trainer and I've been belly dancing for 16 years and I don't think that there's another exercise that will target so effectively all your different abdominal, ex all your different abdominal muscles and do it in a way that's actually fun and enjoyable where it doesn't even feel like you're trying to strengthen your core. So let's get into it and rest assured, we are gonna hit your abs from all angles and you're not even gonna have to get on the floor. So let's get into it. All right, in this video, we're gonna do our standing abs. Great sequence for working your oblique muscles, which are your abdominal muscles that are on your right side but we're also gonna work our upper abs. We're gonna hit our lower abs in there. It's gonna be awesome. So let's get into it. Let's warm up a little bit. So take a nice deep breath. So we're gonna come down and lift. Down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And exhale. Now reach up. Reach, reach. So I really want you to think about lengthening in your side. You're opening up and you're using your obliques already. You're, you should feel these muscles getting activated. Reach, lean. pulling up, lifting, lift, 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 lift. Four, three, two, one. Now let's reach, reach, reach. So don't worry too much about what's happening here in your arm, just reach. And I'm really working my sides here as I reach. Reach. Just want you to know I feel this too. Trying to make it look like I don't, but I do. Good, let's go. Four, three, two, one. And just kinda, just so we don't forget that we're dancing and we're having fun, even though we're working our abs. Okay, so we're gonna start with our rib cage slide. So, how to do a rib cage slide. I want you to lock down your lower body. So, put your hands on your hips if that helps you to isolate your upper body. So, what's happening here? Put your hands now here. I just want you to feel real quick, real quick. <laughs> Elmer Fudd, um, what's happening there. So it's my oblique muscles that's moving my rib cage right and left. So if I had a parallel line here, a line here, this line would just be sliding parallel to the ground. Slide, 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 slide. So you can see I'm just like between two walls. Nothing is happening going forward and back right now. Slide, slide, slide. And I'm also paying attention to what's happening in my lower body. I'm pulling my belly button, my spine, because what I don't want to happen 
is this. I don't want my back to go into this position, so I tuck my tailbone under. I pull my belly butt into my spine. I'm lifted here, and let's go again. Right and left, right, left, right. If it helps you to lock down your lower body, you can actually tighten up your booty a little bit. That'll help to keep it locked down. Slide, 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 slide. Good, now we're gonna do a chest lift and drop. We lift, drop. Again, keep sure that you're not doing this when you lift your chest. I squeeze my glutes, I tuck my tailbone under, and all I'm doing is squeezing my shoulder blades together just a little bit down. I squeeze and down. Think about dropping your low, your um, shoulder blades into your back pocket. Like if you were wearing jeans and you're trying to drop your shoulder blades down into your back pocket, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. And as much as possible, try to keep this in your rib cage and not in your shoulders. So the movement is coming from your chest and your upper back. Lift, drop. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine this chest lift and drop with this slide. So we're gonna go right, lift, left, drop. Right, lift, left, drop. Right, lift, and if you feel anything in your low back, that should be a cue for you, a little message from your body, a little something in the mail for you that you need to engage your lower abs again. If you feel pain here, you need to tuck under, you need to pull your belly button into the spine. Right, lift, left, drop. Now you can keep it this tempo, or if you want, we can try a little faster. Right, lift, left, drop. Right, lift, left, drop. Right, lift, left, drop, slide. Lift, slide, drop, slide. Lift, slide, drop. Now we're gonna smooth it out, slide. Lift, slide, drop, slide. Lift, slide, drop, slide. Lift, slide, drop, slide. Lift, side, drop, side. Lift, side, drop, good. And just go whatever pace feels right for you here. We're going slide, lift, slide, lift, slide, lift. Good, let's try the other way, slow. Left, lift, slide, drop. Left, lift, right, drop, slide, lift, slide, let's try to pick it up, slide, lift, slide, drop, slide, lift, slide, drop, slide, lift, slide, drop, slide, lift and smooth it out, slide, lift, slide, drop, slide, lift, slide, lift. Awesome. Okay, let's take a little break here. Just kind of stretch it out. A little palate cleanse, body palate cleanser. Okay, now we're gonna do a hip slide, which is the counterpart to our rib cage slide. So we're still using our obliques when we do a hip slide. Same muscles. The only difference is that I'm keeping my upper body stable, not moving my upper body, and all I'm doing is moving my hips. Great oblique workout here. Again, be mindful of tucking your tailbone under, keeping your belly button into your spine, and for the purposes of this isolation, I keep my knees into this very soft bend position because I don't want my hips to go up and down. I only want them to go side to side. So if I had a line here, this would be going parallel to the ground. 
So this is what it looks like from the side. Keep a nice good posture here in your upper body. This is really great for your waist. So as you can see here, nothing's happening in my shoulders. I'm trying to keep this in the same position and I just move my hips right, left, right, left. Arms can be here or here. Don't worry about it, it's not important. We're just focusing here. Now I also want you to know that even though we're focusing on strengthening our abs here, every one of these exercises is gonna help you with your belly dance. It's gonna make your belly dance easier. It's gonna make it stronger and sharper. So there is a purpose to this beyond just strengthening your abs and your core, but it is great for that. Okay, so now that we've done this hip slide, we're gonna do a pelvic square, which is the same counterpart as our rib cage square here. So we have to tuck our pelvis here. So we let our pelvis release and tuck. Drop, tuck, drop, tuck, drop, tuck. And it's really important to keep a bend in your knees here. I drop, tuck, drop, tuck drop, tuck, drop, tuck. This is so good for strengthening your lower abs and your pelvic floor muscles. I want you to focus all your energy here, like an inch or two below your belly button. You're contracting. Picture a little ball in there and you squeeze the ball. You could also visualize zipping up your pants, zip. So this is the strong part, soft. I, on this part, I just release. Release soft, strong. 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 As you can probably tell, it's a good workout for your arms too, right? If you're holding your arms out here, you're getting a good shoulder workout. So now we're going to do a side to side movement in our hips. So sit as low as you can. Side, 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 side. So we're squeezing here in our obliques. We're trying to pull our hip into our rib cage. We squeeze, squeeze, squeeze squeeze and again the lower you can get in your knee the easier it's going to be squeeze 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 so we're trying to kiss our hip into our rib cage Mwah. 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 kiss i love you Mwah. 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 good now we got our side to side move here and again this is so good for your obliques. You're really strengthening your obliques here in this move. Squeeze, yeah, that's great. Okay, now we're gonna turn this into a pelvic square by we're going to tuck, go to the right, back, left. Tuck, right, back, left. Tuck, right, back, left. Tuck. When I go to the right, I don't have as much room to squeeze up here on the right side because I just tucked in here. So here it's gonna feel like I don't have as much range of motion to go to that right side. That's okay, that's normal. And then I release in the back and then I squeeze in the left. Tuck, right, back, left. Tuck, right, back, left. Tuck, right, back, left. And see if you can smooth this out to do a small pelvic circle. So this is called a pelvic circle. We also call this an AMI in belly dance. 
Good, let's take the pelvic square in the other direction. Tuck, left, back, right. Tuck, left, release, right. So that's just a soft release there. Left, back, right. Tuck, left, back, right. Tuck, left, back, right. Let's smooth it out. And just so you know, this is a really challenging movement. This AMI, this pelvic circle, is it's tricky because it uses a lot of muscles we're not used to using. So just know to be patient, don't be hard on yourself, and it's just gonna take time. Um, it's gonna take a while to just build those muscles so that you can control that movement. Let's do a nice big hip circle, just kind of stretching out everything that we did. This is also a good core movement when you really do this movement coming from your core. And let's switch directions. Okay, the last move I want to show you here in this standing abs video, and I'll do more for sure if I haven't already by the time you see this, is we're gonna do a hip drop. So again, this is really good for strengthening your obliques. So to do a hip drop, you wanna have a nice bend in that standing leg. You're tucking the tailbone under, as always, pulling the belly button into the spine. You're lifting the chest, and you're doing that little hip kiss here on the side. So we lift, drop. So really get that squeeze there in the obliques. And again, it's so important to keep this standing leg bent so that the hip has somewhere to go. Watch what happens when my knee straightens. I don't have any range of motion in that hip. So keep that knee bent. Lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. I kiss, Mwah. So right on the seam line of your shirt. I'm drawing that hip into the rib cage. Squeeze, drop, squeeze, drop, squeeze, drop, squeeze, drop. And let's switch sides here on the left side. So nice bend in that right knee, tucking the tailbone under, belly button into the spine, lifted here. And we lift, drop. Keep that bend in that standing knee. I'm gonna keep reminding you because what happens is the more you concentrate, the more that knee is gonna just get straight again. It's like this automatic thing. Lift, drop, lift, drop. So when you're practicing this, and what I would recommend is putting on some music that you love when you practice these moves, is play with the tempo a little bit. Maybe you start slower and then you speed it up and then you go back to slow. Drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. Good, and I just wanna say one word about this hip drop. When you come down on that hip drop, be careful that you're only coming down. You're not going side or sitting into this opposite hip because that's gonna put some strain on that hip joint. So all you're doing is you're lifting, you're squeezing here and you drop straight down. Don't do this. If you start to feel some tension in your hip joint, that's probably why, is because you're not coming straight down, you're actually putting weight into that side and that's what's gonna create that. Now you will feel these muscles working here because these are your stabilizers, but you shouldn't feel it in your hip joint. And I'm a big proponent of being aware of what's happening in your body and using these little signals of discomfort that don't feel right 
to be a message as to how to improve your mechanics so that you don't feel that. Because belly dance should be working the muscles, but it shouldn't be painful in that way. So if you're feeling pain in your low back, you need to tuck under. If you feel pain in that hip, you need to make sure you're just coming down. So let's just stretch it out a little bit more. And we'll do lots of different videos on how to, just different um, ab, standing ab routines. And let's stretch it out to the side. And the other direction. All right, great job today. I hope you're feeling these muscles. And I am so confident that if you do these, this video three times a week, over the period of a few weeks, you're really gonna notice a difference in your abdominal strength, especially your obliques. So um, I'll see you next time. Have fun.